Let's take on with this story. The Olympic Games in Beijing are all set to kick off today. But for journalists and officials arriving in China, the scenes are much like a dystopian movie. Here's why. Bartenders clad in PPE gear. Only a sliver of their faces seen. Covered behind white masks and giant plastic face shields. Shaking the cocktails hard. Who knew that drinks and hazmat suits would mingle? But this is the new post pandemic reality. Interestingly, most bar guests in this Janzako ski resort are Olympics related personnel and journalists. Servers, too hop between tables, their PPE gowns making swishing noises as French rap plays over speakers. And here's a scene from another hotel, a room service order of a club sandwich and fries. This too delivered by a PPE clad worker. Sandwich wrapped in plastic. Talk about the venues and hotels and workers emblazoned with the colourful Olympic rings spray down floors. Not to miss this robot, also spraying disinfectant. These scenes, more like dystopian fiction, are playing out commonly in Beijing and neighbouring Janzako. Reason? Chinese officials minimising chances of a fresh coronavirus outbreak that could be sparked by the Beijing Winter Games. A giant closed loop separates the thousands of international athletes, officials and journalists from the general public. 32 COVID-19 cases have been recorded in the previous 24 hours. 15 of them new airport arrivals. It's hard to say if these numbers will actually drop once the Games begin. Bureau report, We on World is One.